Hi guys! We have just come out of the Sapria Lele presentation. I'm here with writer, editor and tracking Tom Rasmussen. Thank you for joining us in the car. Um, really fabulous, fabulous presentation from Sapria. Um, she, this was slightly in a more show format um, than usual. Last season was um, very much static models who kind of rotated um, occasionally in beautiful pastels. Um, this season was so elevated and really, really spectacular um, in my humble opinion. Um, I'll show you the invite just for um, reference. Really lovely newspaper fab materials. Um, and the premise of this collection was um, focusing on the matriarchs in Sapria's life um, and the kind of medical influence. Um, she's got lots of doctors in her family, and I think they're quite they're quite a prominent feature in her life. And so. And most of them matriarchs as well so both of those combined come into this um collection and we saw that in they had little light blue nhs um patterns and some of the sheer um t-shirts there was beautiful silver materials which i can't remember what she said to you uh, they're from a jewelry the knit they're in knit they're like jewelry bead spaces basically yes, but yes. knitted into like skirts and bags yeah beautiful <coughs> thank you Tom. um and in kind of kilted skirts beautiful leather work um and it, it, there was a real medicinal um, edge, obviously, because she said she was inspired by this um, doctor influence. But um, the main um, elements of that, again, is NHS cross, but the plastic sheeting in the background is this kind of inky brown, if, if brown can be inky, um, which the models walked um, around. And that kind of brown was in the leathers and the kind of off greens. Some one of the dresses was beautiful silhouette with a zip down the side and but in almost like a scrub blue and there were little nods to nurses in white tights in the shoes um the shoes were fantastic done with manolo blanik um and really elegant and i think they're one of the contributing factors as to why this felt slightly more elevated this season the shoes and the outerwear just really um kind of snatched everything up to another level um outerwear particularly in these really beautiful greens was much more tailored whereas previously it's been inspired by kind of hunting jackets and almost father figures but this time very much about the matriarch and the women in Sapria's life um, and the ye lemon yellows and um, those kind of acid tones that we've seen before were back as well really pleased that those haven't disappeared um, it was just absolutely beautiful so many wonderful textures and such lovely kind of subversive nods to her British Indian heritage you can get that in the um, sari stylings and the madras check that she keeps bringing back every season it was just beautiful mm. Tom help me what did you think well I loved it because it was like <clears throat> sorry there was also she like was playing on like fetish wear as well which yes. I thought like the intersect of like looking at like the powerful women in your life and also playing with fetish wear so there were like sort of fetishy like there was one specific like sort of like PVC-ish apron and then there was that I don't know how even you describe it it was outerwear but it was sort of like big at the shoulder and then kind of tapered in yeah. like around the collarbone with a shirt underneath and I just was yeah I was I guess kind of obsessed with that I think what Supriya always does is like manages to like explore sexuality without it being sort of like um like fetishizing or sort of like um you know like a Ricardo Tichy at Givenchy where it's quite like a man's idea of what a yeah. woman's sexuality Got is you. I think Supriya <clears throat> really like manages to well of course man, and she I've spoken to her about this before she sort of like wants to explore sex and sexuality but like for her female client for her or her wearer basically yeah. and as a woman doing that I think it's obviously going to be more sensitive and more um does that make sense so totally I, totally yeah and then and you also saw that in the outerwear like you were saying they're sort of like you you said in there that they were kind of like these amazing like ladies who lunch tailored tailored outerwear pieces but there was also definitely like a medical lab coat -y element to it and definitely also kind of like a dominatrixy powerful vibe which yes. I think speaks to you know all the things that she she probably sees in again having spoken to her about it she probably sees in the women in her family who yeah. were incredibly smart incredibly strong incredibly she's surrounded by some incredible people yeah, yeah. I love the idea of there's this wonderful dark green coat that was my lady to lunch look but I love the idea that she could be flashing like a leather yeah, Jean, yeah like yeah. a little bit something underneath yeah. and you would never know yeah completely absolutely it was really gorgeous yeah and I love um we were talking about this before we went on camera and um Amna H. Knight, you're the co-founder of Cause and Effect, and um, that Tom's the editor for, and Supriya was on the cover of recently. Um, we were talking about how the colour palette really reminded us of kind of 
almost like 90s Prada Glen Lutchford campaigns mm. and we were kind of looking at the Amber Valletta Glen Lutchford pictures and those kind of sultry it has that real sexiness but again with done with a woman in mind it's that mm. it's that lace and those shears and that color palette that almost like watery effect but with the, as if someone was smoking in the corner it's just mm -hmm. kind of like achingly cool really mm -hmm. it just feels so um and that new line that sort of there's, there's a specific silhouette that she's like re, like sort of like run can maybe maybe a superior signature at this point like that sort of is like nipped just over the bust mm. which I really like it's sort of unusual and yeah. draws your eye into a sort of strange place and makes the body sort of a slightly strange shape and I just I love that I love the way she drapes and like it always feels really it's very clever it always feels like I'm, maybe that's a stupid thing to say but it always just feels really <laughs> no, um, you know every single thing feels thought about and there's a reason why that's why I'm so obsessed with Supriya because I think like she's constantly pushing herself and pulling herself back and you know constantly working out exactly where the line is between you know <clears throat> too far or too little and she, mm. you know or you know like she said like with exploring her heritage in the past she said like sometimes I want to go like full fully there and sometimes I want to like fully pair it back mm -hmm. and you know and I think that's really really shows in the work that it's really considered the whole way through it's not like although I guess most designers are really considered the whole way through but it's not sort of like one broad brushstroke idea like lab coats it's sort of like <laughs> lab coats intersecting with heritage intersecting with the women in her life intersecting with yeah. you know what that maybe means about the NHS intersecting with fetish wear intersecting with like do you know what I mean yeah. so I think there's so many layers to it and actually if you kind of read this reference point out loud and you didn't know the designer and you said it was oh it's about like the women in her life and also like the medical mm, then mm. that could have been that could have gone anywhere really but actually it's so interesting that this morphed into this beautiful aesthetic mm -hmm. thinking like I don't know if like Richard Malone this we saw this morning was also looking at matriarchs <laughs> and medicals I think it would be it would have not no no offense to Richard but it would have gone a completely different path I know they're completely right. different designers but there's something about Supriya where she can draw on so many different things and just add a bit of magic to it and also keep it still very specific and in her like in her language which yeah. is such again quite a tacky turn of phrase but you know <laughs> she sort of keeps things it you know it's a supriya look which is like yeah my fave i'm obs i'm literally obsessed with her i think she's genius she is genius i just i i want to be that woman who's so sexy but in this really subdued want it right. can't have it kind of way she once said to me that like I feel like I'm like basically I once interviewed her for a really long time and it was amazing <laughs> I feel like I'm like she once said to me but I once did this really amazing interview with her which where she told me a of stuff and she said that um, she wants her her wearer whoever it may be to be like incredibly cool incredibly sexy and kind of maybe a little bit aloof yeah you know she's obviously super super warm and everything and you know whatever but she wants that to be the vibe it's not like look at my body or like <laughs> it's like you know it's it's thoughtful I think and that's really that's and that's what I think you can often lack when you've got a lot of men designing for women yeah a lot of gay men designing for women I'm gay and I love a lot of gay men's designs for women but I think like there is something I don't know that feels really sometimes really special about women designing for women yeah do you know what I mean? yeah absolutely Does that make sense? I totally it was very special indeed. Um, I feel very special to have seen it. Yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to the moment when she has her sh own show. I really, um, new gen, chuck more money at this because I want I want a show. I, I feel like Supriya wants a show. And this, this was a walking um, presentation, but I just can't wait to see that kind of beautiful, intellectual, special reference come out in this yeah. Show Although it felt as, to me it felt as special as a show in that space because oh, it was sure. in 180 Strand and I think like it felt and I think what it, what she did as well in like the way it was presented and everything like that it still it felt really like interestingly clinical and actually sorry I've just had another thought she's all definitely about like concealing and revealing like the amazing there was this amazing like Georgie said earlier these like beads that were like jewellery spaces and it made this like almost shimmering like fluid yeah. like skirts and bags but there was one where it was like that beneath like beneath a layer of something like kind of sheer mm. and I thought that again that kind of speaks to who Supriya is like layered and sort of concealing some and revealing others and, and like kind of desire I don't know I'm just saying a lot of words but <laughs> <clears throat> you know I think yes yeah, yeah. I, com I completely I thought those silver pieces were kind of instrumental those little pops of sheen and slightly metallic -y made you think of scalpels but also 
sex in some weird clinical way. I don't well, know. like glistening sweat kind of thing. Yeah. Vibes. Yeah. yeah. Absolute vibes. Mm. Um, well, in case you didn't get, we really loved it. Mm. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much, Tom, for coming in the Thanks car with for me. me um, make sure you subscribe so you can catch up with all the rest of our live views coming in hot. Bye. Bye.